Hi all, I am Vinay Kumar. In this series of Arm Cortex M4, today I will explain you the reset sequence of Cortex M4 processor. The same reset sequence is also applicable for all, I think all Cortex M family. Here, the reset sequence is nothing but after triggering reset button in STM32 board, then what are the steps taken care by the processor after triggering the reset? That is nothing but reset sequence of a Cortex MX processor. Here see, whenever you reset the processor by clicking the reset button, then the first step is when you reset the processor, the PC is loaded with the value stored in the 0 cross 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000. Here, you know already this 0 cross 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 is the first address of SRAM. Okay, this is the first address of SRAM. Now, whenever you reset the board, then the program counter is stored the value of this address. Whatever the value stored in this address he is getting stored into the PC. The first step is that one. And next one is then the processor reads the value at memory location 0 cross 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0. Which means after uh, after that the processor reads the value present in this memory location to MSP. MSP is nothing but a main stack pointer, which means after resetting the board, the first thing the processor does is it is going to store the MSP value. It is going to initialize the MSP value with the value present in this memory address. Okay. That's why we need to keep the valid value in this memory location. We have, we have to keep a valid value in this memory location because after resetting the board, the MSP is loaded with this value. Okay, that's why we need to keep a valid value in this memory location. Next, here see the MSP is loaded with the value at present in this memory location. That is the first step after reset. Here, MSP is the main stack pointer register. That means processor first initializes the stack pointer. Here, observe after reset the processor initializes the stack pointer at first and then here observe after that processor reads the value at memory location 0 cross 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 4. Here after initializing the main stack pointer again the processor reads the value present in this memory location into PC. Again it is stored that uh, uh, value into the PC program counter. Now see here that value is actually the address of reset handler. You know, reset is also one kind of interrupt. I will explain you about the interrupts and system exception in our future videos. For now, remember, reset is also one kind of hardware interrupt. Whenever you are triggering the reset uh, by in the hardware board, then uh, the our processor should execute the reset handler. Okay. Whenever you trigger the reset, then our processor should execute the reset handler. That's why. Uh, you know, uh, reset handler is nothing but it's also one code. For every code, you know, uh, one base address is there. So, the reset handler base address is stored in this memory location. Remember, here the 0 cross 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 4 is the place where the memory address, I mean, memory address means where the reset handler address is stored. Okay. Now, after reading that memory address, PC jumps to the reset handler. Here observe the reset handler address is stored in this memory location. Okay. After reading this into PC, the PC jumps into the reset handler. You know, reset handler is nothing but it is also one kind of function. Uh, this function includes all the initializations. What we have to do after when triggering reset. Here see a reset handler is just a C or assembly function. It is also a C or assembly function written by you u is nothing but user okay written by you to carry out any initializations required uh, actually uh, whenever we do reset for any board it takes some uh, time it takes some time for initializing some required things okay here also in arm cortex m4 also whenever we you reset the board then it will execute the reset handler in reset handler you have to keep some initializations which are required for your processor. Okay. You have to keep some initializations. 
I will explain you how to keep these initializations in my code in my next videos. For now, just remember you have to keep some required initializations in reset handler code. The code may be either C or assembly function, whatever your language you are using, that may be your wish. Here, see, after initializing all the things in reset handler, from reset handler, you have to call your main function of the application. You know, whenever you are resetting the board, uh, resetting is nothing but it is starting of the board. Whenever you reset the board, the processor starts from the beginning. That's why you have to initialize the required things in the reset handler itself. And the, at the end of reset handler, you have to call the main function for jumping into main function. After completion of initialization, the reset handler should call the main function for continuing the processing. Okay. This is the sequence of reset handling or reset sequence of ARM Cortex M4. I hope you understand this video. If you have any doubt, let me know in the comment box. I will definitely answer your all doubts. And if you want to contact me directly, I will give you my Telegram channel, Instagram channel and my personal mail ID in the description box. If you want to contact me, you can contact and you can ask your doubts. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.